We are in infrared. Look how cool this is. So we came out of infrared after the kudu and we found a scrub hair. Now, scrub hairs don't like the light so much, even though they are more nocturnal, so nighttime creatures. But he doesn't mind us at all when we've got the infrared on because he can't really see us. He, they can't see that infrared light very well. But this is not a bunny, in case you're all shouting, bunny, 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 or rabbit. They are very different, the hairs from rabbits. Now, you can see straight away, look how long those front legs are. And as well as those frig very, very front, very long front legs, they've got very powerful hindquarters too, so they can run very fast, whereas the rabbits tend to hop around. Also, look how big those ears are. And you can see, he's listening, making sure that there's no owls or jackals or hyenas, leopards and lions trying to sneak up to him to eat him and he's just munching on some grass now so they hide away during the day they also don't dig burrows underneath the ground like rabbits do they live on top of the ground now Brynna you're wondering how long we're out on Bryn, Bryn, just Bryn, <laughs> Bryn, sorry, you were wondering how long we're out on safari for, well it depends, normally we are out for about, I would say, including doing the pre-show, it's about seven hours a day, sometimes even a little bit longer, but it's quite a bit of time that we spend in the bush, which is really nice, I know a lot of you will be very jealous, it's not really a job, is it, that I get to come on safari every single day, twice a day, it's the best job in the world, that I can tell you and being able to see so many different animals. I think the most interesting thing that we do is learning the different types of behaviors of the animals because there's very few people that get to do what we do. Now Tristan was telling you about being a guide, but what we do is a little bit different. Now KJ, you're wondering how fast can a scrub hair run? I have absolutely no idea. Pretty quick though. They can move quite, uh, quite, far, uh, quite far, quite quickly, and they can also run for a long time too. I've actually watched a jackal try and chase a scrub hare once, and it, well, I have to tell you, the scrub hare won. It outmaneuvered the jackal, which is like a little fox, if I had to describe it uh, to you in a way that you might know. But they can move very quickly. Now, Anthony, you're wondering why their eyes glow. So what we're, what we're looking at now, this is called the tapetum flash. So there's a membrane, it's a very long word, so I'm not going to bore you with it. There's a membrane in the eye, and basically all this light is just reflecting back at us. Not all animal eyes do this. Out of the big five, an animal, the rhinoceros, is the only one that's eyes don't reflect like this. So it's lacking that membrane. But it's very, very cool. So that's what we use to try and spot animals is even with my spotlight, they reflect different colors. Now there's a big story about predator's eyes flashing red if you shine a light on them. This is not true. Um, what happens is, like I said, it just depends on the different angle, but sometimes their eyes shine green, sometimes they shine blue or yellow or green and red and all the different colors of the rainbow just about. But this one in infrared, well, it just looks like it's white. <laughs> but he's very relaxed. No, oh, I'm so sorry. Can I have that name again? Tamia. And you're wondering how long do hairs live for? I would say a couple of years, maybe, maybe not more than about five years or so, maybe a little bit longer. Out here in the bush, they don't live for very long. There's lots of different things that will like to eat scrub hairs. Like I said, owls and, and hyenas and jackals. So they are the bottom of the prey species, if, if, if I can say that. There's lots of other smaller things, other smaller mammals, uh, than just a scrub hare. But when you're out in the open like this in the pitch darkness, you can be spotted and you can be snatched up quite easily. Now, Wendy, you're wondering if they can see in the dark. They most certainly can. I can't even see where the scrub hare is sitting. The only reason that I know it's there is because of the monitor that we have next to us. And I have to look at that. But if I had to try and spot that scrub hair on the row right now with my eyes, I can't see it. But that scrub hair knows that we're here. So most of the animals can see much better at, um, at night than what we can. Now, Duncan, you're wondering what a scrub hair eats? All that grass that's on the ground in front of it? That's what they're mainly feeding on. So at this time of the year, it is quite cool. There is lots and lots of food around for them. Right, let's carry on. Little scrub here, I'm going to have to ask you to move out the way now because we want to continue driving.